Hey guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. Gonna talk or give you a quick little scuba tip. Uh, and this is gonna be a scuba tip slash video discussion for you. It's gonna be longer than about a minute or so. Uh, we've all done it, if, especially us old school divers, or we've seen somebody do it nowadays. One of the absolute worst things you can do is at the end of the dive, when you're tearing your gear down, and you take your first stage off a regulator, is to hold it out here in front of the valve, and turn the valve on to blow this dry before replacing our dust cap. Now, that's how I was taught back in the late 80s, and I, I quickly, very quickly, stopped doing that. And, and let's talk a little bit about why. Theoretically, what you're doing is you're blowing the water out of the first stage, out of the yolk or den area, to get rid of it and to dry it. But what we're not thinking about is this is high-pressure air, and I don't care... If you just seep it out or if you turn it on, it's very difficult to control the amount or the airflow that comes through. And what happens, instead of blowing the air or the water out of it, we're using the air and you're actually blowing water inside the first stage. Now, it may be a very small amount, but what's the idea of the first stage? We don't want any moisture inside of it. That's one reason they make dried seal first stages nowadays. And what can happen is, is if you get that moisture in there, it can corrode your first stage out. Now, it will take a lot, but if you're in, in areas where you have salt water, that salt water is going to corrode quicker than what the fresh water will uh, in, in your first stage. So how do we do that? If you're still going to do this method, which I would strongly encourage against, but if you're going to do that, make sure that you hold your first stage in a position of where the orifice, the yolk nut, is pointed downward. That way the airflow is going across it. We still cannot completely control how much moisture gets blown up in there because even as the air flows through it, it's still going to be channeled inside that yolk nut and water is still going to go up in there whether we want it to or not. A couple of simple methods. One, a little bit lower pressure, not our tank valves, but simply blowing with our mouth still making sure to hold it in that vertical position where the yolk nut is pointed down. We're simply taking some type of dry cloth, a chamois or something, and pushing it up in there and just drying it out, patting it dry. Uh, I would encourage you, as soon as you remove it, as soon as you blow, blow it dry, go ahead and take the dust cap and replace it. And I'm going to talk to you for a second about why the dust cap is so important. I'm currently in the middle of rebuilding a regulator for a gentleman. I took him to the pool last night and we was doing this full face mask class. We've already did the classroom part and we're fixing to do his skills. So we were hooking his hose for his full face mask up to his first stage. We hooked it up, we torqued it in where it needed to be, we hooked it to the tank, turned the tank on, and he had a catastrophic failure within the first stage. It immediately started free flowing out. We had to cut the air off. Thankfully, we had another regulator. He had another regulator that we could use for his class. And it wasn't until today till we got his regulator back to where I could service it did I start to realize what the problem was. The last time he had used his regulator, he had forgot to replace his dust cap. All right? And what had happened was is when he went to clean his equipment, whether he used a dunk tank, just a water hose, and sprayed it, Water and moisture had got up in here, and not just a small amount. I mean a lot of water and moisture. And when I tore his first stage down, it took every strength, every bit of strength I had to, to, to get it to come apart because it was so corroded on the inside. Um, it was a fairly new reg. He had had it less than two years, and it looked like it was something out of the 60s or 70s that no one's seen or touched in years. Um, it, it was just amazing how much corrosion was inside his first stage and how much little water had caused that. So guys, I can't stress enough, always make sure you replace your dust cap after every dive. Don't only blow out the uh, yolk area of your regulator, also blow off the dust cap. Use your t-shirt, whatever, and dry it off before you replace it up in there. We always want to clean our equipment after every dive, but make sure that dust cap's in place. And please try to refrain from using your tank valve to blow it out. Truly, I tell you this, that is a technician's worst nightmare. Now, I was trained to do that, and I stopped doing it many, many years ago because having to rebuild my regs time and time again, I started to see 
what could happen simply by using this to blow dry it out versus just blowing through it or taking a towel and just wiping it out. So guys, please be safe out there. Take good care of your equipment. This ain't just scuba equipment. This is life-saving equipment. It allows you to stay safe and to survive in an environment you were never meant to survive in. So guys, just be safe out there. I hope this video helps you out. As always, make sure you follow us on Twitter, you like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Thank <laughs> you.